promo code GIFT15. But it's to encourage folks to use those gift cards that most people don't end up you know, using all the money off of them. Because you're not habitualized like with cash or a credit card. You just stick it there and then never use it. Use those gift cards, get great products, help fund the info war. And if you want to fight the globalist, get a non-GMO seed pack, fruit trees. We've got everything at InfoWarsStore.com. Plant a garden. You're like, well, I don't, I don't live in the rural area. Well, they'll have garden organizations in your area. Uh, or go out in the middle on the side of the highway and plant stuff. Gorilla planting is going on everywhere. Where people are planting fruit trees, you name it, on the side of the highway. They're growing. They're doing great. I mean, this is really cool stuff you can do to plant the opposite of what the globalists are planting, these, these devil plants that don't produce seeds and, you know, spread all these bad genetics, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com. And the Hillary for Prison shirts are selling out. They're a limited edition. There are a few sizes left, InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, we've got uh, Steve Quayle with us. Uh, let's go ahead and take another phone call for him. Let's talk to Ned in Oregon. You're on the air with Steve Quayle. Yeah. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Go ahead. I'm glad I got a chance to talk to both of you. I, I wanted to have you address both of you. Uh, I know uh, AJ is involved, with, uh, has known about David Icke for a long time. How David Icke's reptilian uh, interaction and Luciferian thing uh, keep on going on that direction. I still think that those reptilians are, are, are a big part of the problem. And I'll take the answer off air. Thanks. Well, here's the deal, and I'll get Steve to comment on this. I don't get into space aliens. I don't get into all that. The elite act like vampires. Uh, uh, the, the, the royal family in England is Transylvanian related to Vlad the Impaler. You can't make that up. Uh, a lot of dead kids have been dug up on their property. Uh, David Icke, 20-something years ago, you know, was accusing them of killing kids. And 10 years ago, on my show, was naming names uh, of people like Savell at the BBC, saying, you know, he had sex with dead kids and they slit their throats in front of the prime minister. And I remember delaying David Icke and saying, you can't say that on air. Okay? Um, and... Then it all came out was true. So at this point, I mean, Katie barred the door. Who knows? Uh, but uh, they might as well be eight-foot-tall blood-drinking lizards. I mean, they, they act just like them. I mean, whether they are or aren't, might as well be St uh, Steve Quayle. Well, I got to tell you something. I think that's evil light compared to what's coming upon the earth. Jesus said men's hearts failing them for fear of looking after those things coming up on the earth. You know, Alex, again, I'm trying in the last uh, – how many months of freedom we have, if it, if it goes five, six, I don't know, next week, next year, I don't know. But what I do know is this, our time of being able to inform and the people's time of being able to prepare, is there, it's a clash of the titans. And they would better make the best use they can. And, that, and by the way, I think, and I'll say this on your show, this is the last book I'm writing. I, I, I basically, I think I've covered it all. It is the end result. It's the... Uh, if you will, it's both the root and fruit of the evil coming upon the earth, the, the you know, empire beneath the ice. And the deal is, from now on, I'm going into videos, true legends. Because Stay there, know, stay there, stay there. I want to come back to you. Final segment, then we hand the baton to Rob Dew. Spread the word, folks. Tell people to tune in. we got to get out of our trance. we got to get people awake that a lot of stuff's going on. Empire Beneath the Ice, available exclusively at sequel.com. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Infowars.com is our main site. A lot of big news is broken there in the last hour I haven't gotten to. David Spade, Obama should have more dignity than to appear on reality TV. Why does that matter? So many Hollywood stars are going public against the Obamas. Kurt Russell for the Second Amendment, you name it. It shows there's major rumbling. And people don't, and I always told you, they don't want to be Republican or Democrat. They want to be Libertarian. They want to be Patriots. What did Kurt Russell say word for word last week? So there is a lot of craziness going on, ladies and gentlemen, but... Uh, there's also a good Lord above. Let's go ahead and talk to John in Australia. You're on the air with Steve Quayle. Go ahead. Hello? Give me a big favor. Yeah, just turn your radio off and we'll hear from you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Wait, just give me a sec, please. Yeah, 101 on radio, folks, is you got to turn that radio now pretty much off or it'll create with a 10-second delay or the Internet delay a big delay and then folks sit there and talk to us while they listen to themselves and it just doesn't seem to work out too well uh but uh, we'll see what happens with john john you back yet yeah 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 good good how you doing alex good and, brother uh, go ahead steve? god bless you go ahead yeah i just wanted to ask steve um if he knows um about the the uh, second beast that speaks like a dragon that has two horns like a lamb 
what, what's his take on it, because I, I know what it actually means, but um, if Steve could tell me, he, he may actually know, so he might be someone else who knows. Well, because of the, the time it would take to answer that, I, I, you know, uh, send me an email, steve777 at stevequail.com. I'll answer you privately. It just takes too long, and we're down to, what, the last three minutes, Alex? So we better, out of respect, go to the next call or whatever. But, uh, again, folks, if you don't believe in the Bible, that's your issue. The elites, I've been to Bohemian Grove, I've infiltrated it. They really believe this stuff. So, metaphysically, that's what we're dealing with. John, uh, what do you think about all the craziness going on in the world? Oh, it's crazy. This is all being set up for the beast, for the little horn. That the ten horns give their power to? Yeah, yeah, and he's meant to knock out three. Absolutely. Let's go back to Steve Quayle here briefly. Thank you for the call. Call me again when we have more time, John. I'm sorry to squeeze in all these great callers. But Steve Quayle, isn't it crazy that the UN has 10 regions, three mega regions, and actually calls them kingdoms? I mean, they really are following the Bible. Well, absolutely. Actually, the Bible declared the end at the beginning. You know, the, the Bible says, surely the Lord God will do nothing except he reveals his secrets to his servants and prophets. We have the testimony of history. But see, people live in denial of the relevance of God. And, you know, the, one of the uh, literal words of the Lord we're seeing is a woe unto the nation that forgets God. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Sure. And Alex, that's something that you have to deal with every day as well as I do. Lord, the foundations of this country are in effect destroyed. And if the salt of the earth won't stand up, speak up, and act up in, in, in you know, for that which is right, you know, look, we're, we're a couple guys, and by the grace of God, we got the influence we've got. But, but you know this, Alex. You know from the flack you get and from still, the nothing changing. It's all waiting for the button to be pressed. People know once the button's pressed, I always put it into gun control terms, when they absolutely say they're going for the guns, that's when everything kicks into high gear, in my opinion. That's when those who will withstand evil will withstand evil. And unfortunately, too many people will be on the trains going to their death going, well, I guess he wasn't crazy after all. That's not the point. The point is we're telling them, don't get on the trains, don't go. Don't go. Look, Start there is manifest over. evil taking over. If we yes. don't admit it and say no, it takes over. People don't, Absolutely. It, it, it's not like yep. people want to deny it's happening, hope it isn't happening. You've got to admit it's happening to put the genie back in the bottle. Steve Quell, God bless you. Thank you for all the time. Thanks, Alex. Bye-bye. Powerful interview with Steve Quell.